Good morning, guys. What's up? So this is just going to be a quick vlog video. Uh, I'm doing an update of all my projects that I've been working on. It is raining right now, um, but it's kind of light rain. It was raining pretty heavy earlier. Um, so I'm just drinking some tea, walking around. Uh, <coughs> so just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and uh, let's get to it. Let me turn around the camera here. All right, so big update, or one of the big projects I was working on was the lattice. And now the lattice is done all the way around the house. So there is one section um, one section that's not done and that is on the back side and that is because I am going to be doing another big project coming up soon uh, let me go ahead and just walk around the whole house so while I'm here in the front yard though let me talk about this um, so I have stripped back all of the Luhe ferns which were all this dark area that looks, you know, like dead stuff, it is dead stuff. That was all ferns and it was all the way up over top of the lawn here. Um, I think there was one video when I was actually putting in the coffee and the coconut trees here um, where you saw me ripping out all of the ferns in this section. But I took it even further than that video. So there were ferns that were going uh, up these trees. So all of these trees, the ferns just grow up the trees and basically kind of overtake them. Like if you look in the back over there, you can see the ferns growing up that tree that's back there. So all of these trees in the front were all like that as well. And I pulled all those down, took them all back, and I kind of been dumping them back here. So there's a really big drop off right here uh, on my property. So it goes down probably a good 10, maybe even 15 feet. So I just been throwing all the ferns in there to kind of fill up the hole. <laughs> so anyway, um, this past few days, I took all of this out. So from this corner, this is basically the front uh, corner of the yard, I guess, house. So I pulled back, ripped out all of the ferns all the way back to the water catchment tank. And then the same thing, the ferns were growing up all of these trees as well. So I pulled all those back. So I'm trying to establish a perimeter because we're going to be putting in fencing and the fencing is going to go back basically kind of along the tree line. Um, I think it will go in between. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it behind the coconut trees. I think it might go in between the coffee and coconut. So the coffee will be inside, the coconut trees will be outside. And then we were actually considering in that space over there, putting in a stairwell that goes down to the driveway or a, like a set of stairs most likely concrete, um, but that's gonna be another project down the road. Then of course, I'm going to be putting in cement uh, sidewalk all the way around the house. And eventually there's gonna be a deck here. So from that window down to the window just past the door, that's gonna be a deck. And then it's gonna come out 10 feet or so, maybe 12 feet, I haven't really decided yet. So that'll be the, the uh, lanai. Um, and then, of course, it's going to have a roof. And then if you saw my coffee video, there's my little five coffee seedlings that I brought back from the nursery. So um, more of the lattice. And then that's just my couple of sheets that I have left over um, that I'm going to need to finish the last, last section. And then I have two pieces that will eventually be kind of a, uh, kind of a fence. So when we start the fencing, we're going to do the front yard first. And then those pieces of lattice... I'm going to put one on this side that'll go out to the fence and then on the other side so that we have an area we can put the dogs out and not have to worry about them getting out until we eventually can extend the fence, you know, all the way down here. So you can see where all these ferns that I ripped out, they're up on a lot of these trees. I'm still not totally done. This whole little hedge is going to get cut out. You can see all the junk I found, an old TV, 
pots. I don't know what this was, if it was a rabbit hutch or something that they had built here before. And then I also found where people have been throwing paint cans. So there's like 20 or 30 paint cans in there. And then on the other side of the water catchment tank, which you can just barely see, but there's a tire there. So there's a whole pile of tires in here. So <laughs> I'm finding all kinds of junk. So hey, Rob, if you're watching, you're not alone, but I don't have nearly as much stuff as you guys do at your place. So uh, continuing on with the lattice, um, you can see it goes all the way down and the pump house is done. It's all the way painted. Um, big thanks to my wife for that because she helped do a lot of it. Um, she did actually most of it. <laughs> she painted the blue and then I did a couple coats of the white. Um, and then I, you can see I need to go to the dump. My trash can's full. So the next big project that I was talking about is going to be moving this washer and dryer inside. Um, so the section of lattice that isn't done is right here. I put that one piece up just so the dogs don't go under the house. So this is done, installed properly. So from this post to the pump house on this side is what's left. And once I actually move the washer and dryer inside, then that will be finished. So that's what all of this stuff is. So I have the, the washer dryer hookup box. Uh, I have all of the connections. I have pecs for the water lines that are gonna go in. And then on top of my FJ, you can see all the uh, 10 foot sections of pipe that are up there. So that'll be the next big project that I'm gonna be working on. Um, and another thing, of course the pump house and then um, also inside, I put in a piece, which you can't really see, you can see it a little bit there, but I put in a piece of plywood that I painted as well that goes across the entire back. So from where the house was down to the ground was open, just like the rest of the house. So that way this is closed off, you know, from underneath the house as well. I need to take cardboard to the dumps as well. So if you're not familiar in Hawaii, they don't really have trash pickup you have to take all your stuff to the dump. Um, there are certain places in town in Hilo where they do have trash pickup and you can hire people to come and pick up your trash. Um, but it's easy enough just to run to the dump, you know, every week or two, depending on how much trash you accumulate. Uh, let me turn this camera around. And yes, if you notice something different, I shave my mustache. My wife freaked out too. It'll be okay, it grows back. <laughs> so really big news that's happening this week. On Thursday, I have a guy coming and he is going to be ripping all of this out. So all this tall grass, all the YV, all of that stuff is all gonna be coming out. So all the way from over just past the water catchment tank, all of this to where the if you can see it, that cook pine, basically from there all the way across, it's going to get all ripped out and it's going to go all the way back to those bigger trees in the back. Let me flip this around again. Okay, so I wanted to get a little bit better perspective. I'm up on top of the uh, container. So... This whole area, basically, you can see just behind the water catchment tank where I cleared, all of this, let me switch to the, there. It's gonna look kind of fish-eyed, but <laughs> that's the ultra wide lens. So this whole area from the water catchment tank all the way back to, if you can see those little patch of YV over there. So all of this is gonna be coming out and I cannot wait. So right up to this cook pine, which I always called Hawaiian Christmas tree because you see those here a lot. Um, none of this stuff is really gonna get ripped out. 
And the reason why is because our neighbor's house is like right there. So um, for privacy, for them, for us. Uh, but otherwise, all of this other stuff, basically up to this cook pine. And then from there, we're gonna go all the way to the property line on that side, which I believe is about 10 feet or so, maybe 12 feet past the uh, catchment tank, I think is where our property line is. Basically where that big tree is, I think is probably pretty close to where our property line is. So this whole area, and that's gonna be like the next, of course I'm gonna do a video. Um, and then ultimately, uh, this area right here is where I'm gonna build the garage. So it's basically gonna be in line with the water tank, I guess on that side. And then this area here, where this, um, you know, the container is, is gonna eventually be a driveway. So it'll come up here and it'll go curve around to where the garage is. In the meantime, I'm gonna be building a shed. So I'm gonna build a, I think a 10 foot by 12 foot or 10 foot by 14 foot shed that's gonna go right here in this space. Once I build that, I'm gonna take everything out of this storage container, put it into the shed, get rid of the storage container because this thing cost me $200 a month to have here. So that's it. That's the big news. Uh, projects coming up, projects that I'm going to be working on, projects that I've completed. My hair is getting fuzzy. <laughs> Got a haircut too. That last video I was like, man, I need a haircut. But anyway, so... That's just an update uh, of the projects that I've gotten finished up and some of the projects that are coming up. So all the more reason to subscribe <laughs> uh, if you want to continue seeing what I have happening and coming up and what I'm doing and all that. Um, and this week I'm probably going to end up having several videos, which is not normal. Um, I know I just uploaded the coffee one. I got this one for the, the vlog. Um, it's starting to rain now. Um, I'm going to have one coming up when the guy comes to clear all this. Uh, I'm going to be starting to do the washer and dryer move to get that inside. So that's going to be another video. Um, that could even potentially end up being two videos, but we'll see. Um, probably end up being one video. So. And then a couple little other things here and there that I'll be working on. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for checking in with me and for watching. And please subscribe. Please like the video. Share it if you like. And I will see you on the next one. Aloha.